eight o'clock in the morning here. My wife thinks I'm nuts making her do this at eight o'clock in the morning, but hey, that's what we do. We need to, <laughs> I need to have something to do. I wanted today, I wanted to do um, a kind of like a poached chicken. So we're going to make a kind of bone broth. We're going to poach the chicken to make the bone broth. And then we're going to take away all the, the meat from the chicken. And I'm thinking we're going to try and make two dishes. I would, I'll make one today, which will be like a kind of noodle soup with chicken and chili, coriander, ginger, that kind of thing. And then the rest of the meat, we're going to pick off the carcass. And I thought we'd make a chicken pie tomorrow. Okay, so whole chicken. Okay, now the only thing we're going to do here is I'm going to remove the wishbone. So, so. This, is, this is the back of the chicken. With your knife, go in, in either side, release, and remove the wishbone. Now, the reason we do that is that when we're going to take the meat off the chicken, it's going to come up off a lot easier. Cover that in cold water. First thing we're going to do with the chicken, cover it in the cold water and bring it up to the boil. When it comes up to the boil, a few mm. onions, a bit of green of leek, a few carrots, some garlic, bay leaf, if you had some celery, that would be really good. Uh, if you had some thyme, I'm going to put some peppercorns. When that chicken comes up to the boil, we're going to eat what we call skim the stock, take all the slime off, then we're going to add the vegetables and we're going to let that cook for about an hour or an hour and 20 minutes, okay? Right, I'll see you soon. Okay, so that's the chicken coming up to boil now. We're just going to skim off the stock. Just off the top like that. And it's really important that we take all that off because we're looking for a really clear stock. So as soon as this comes to the boil, we put the vegetables in and then we lower the temperature and let it just smoke. We don't want it boiling. Right. We add the mirepoix vegetables in there. We've got the onion. We've got some black peppercorns, okay? A dash of salt. And then we lower the temperature. Just smoking like that. We don't want it boiling furiously. Okay, so the chicken has been poaching for about an hour really gently like that. And you can see the stock. It's really clear liquid, which is exactly what we're looking for. Now, again, this is the bit I know you're all going to say, ah, but how do I know when the chicken's cooked? There's no stress here at all, okay? Take the chicken out. And let's take it over here where we can see it. Okay, so like the other day, we've got to find the thickest part of the chicken, which is through the leg here. We're going to pop the fork in and take it out, and then you just squeeze it. And if the blood, if the juice is coming out or anything bloody, then of course we put it back on to cook. But they're not, they're lovely and clear there. So, chicken out. We're going to let that cool now, okay? This dish is really inspired by Asian cuisine, and uh, it's not something I'd really do in the restaurant. But I love the flavors, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pour off the stock. And look at that stock, it's so clear. And chicken stock really is the base to cooking. You know, it's something that we take great pride on in the restaurant every day. We put on a big, big stock pot of chicken stock because it goes in all the dishes. It goes in all the dishes. But what people sometimes don't understand is that when the vegetables are cooked, they're cooked, okay? But you, those vegetables there, remember I said we're gonna try and do two dishes? I'm gonna keep those vegetables, those carrots and those leeks, because tomorrow I'm gonna to try and make a, a chicken pie. But today we're gonna to do an Asian broth. So we strained off the liquid, okay? And I'm gonna keep half of that liquid for tomorrow, and the other half I'm gonna reduce now to, uh, to make a broth. Okay. So we're going to reduce that. Now we're going to reduce. When you reduce liquid, you intensify the flavor. It's a really important part of cooking. But what we're going to do is we're going to peel half the meat of the chicken. Once I've got the stock to where I want it, I'm going to throw in some noodles, cook the noodles, and then I've got some spring veg. Yes, spring has finally arrived. I've got peas, 
I've got asparagus, I've got pak choy, mange too. We're going to put a little bit of chili, ginger, coriander, and the chicken in the broth. Finish with a bit of soy sauce as well. It will be delicious. Choy leaves as well. And I keep that all relatively separate because the asparagus will take a little bit longer to cook than the peas and the broad beans. And the pak choy we just want to pop in right at the end. Now, ginger. Okay, so we're just going to do a few strips of ginger that we're going to infuse. the stock okay we're gonna do what we call a julienne thin strips okay ginger is such a great combination ginger chili coriander I mean it's so so popular but there's a good reason why it is popular because it's just brilliant together A wee bit of the fiery chili, of course, that's that's optional, but it will work really well with this, I promise you. And these ones are fiery. Okay, so again, we've got our preparation, our mise en place, everything's ready to go. The chili, the ginger, I've got about three small chilies there, ah, a couple of seeds. Well, we'll get rid of those, we've got some coriander, and we've got the green spring vegetables as well, okay? So now we're going to break down our chicken. Okay, so we'll just release the string. Okay. And then we're going to take off the breast, the leg, sorry. And it's so moist. Look how moist the chicken is in there. You can see the juices, so moist. It'll be so tender. And poaching is such a great way of cooking. You know, it's something I find myself doing more and more because, you know, the older you get, you, you, you reach 40 and then you start, you know, your body's changing. You've got to start thinking about what you're eating. But poaching allows such a natural, natural flavor to come. And there we're just going to take the breast off. Oof, it's too hot. It's too hot. I'm going to have to let it cool a bit longer. Okay, I'll let that cool a little bit longer. It's even too hot for me. Am I? Okay, so the legs. There's so much meat on the legs and often it doesn't fully get utilised, you know. And it's a great way of getting a couple of meals out of a chicken, you know. Ah! Pull all that meat off, right? Especially if you're going to hide it in the broth. You know, if the children say, oh, I only like breast. They won't know. So get that leg meat in there because it is so delicious. You know, just pull it apart. You can see we've got this lovely poached chicken. Super healthy, super healthy. And you know, that is so, so important. You know, everything in moderation as we know, but we really have to think about what we eat and, you know, making sure that we're getting all the right bits and bobs and then with your carcass you know you really got to get in and get every single little bit of chicken flesh in there leaving the bones behind you know and under here is what we call the oyster this is what the sacred bit but nobody's getting that because that's my mm. best bit on the chicken okay remember we took the wishbone out at the beginning so then, because we've taken the wishbone out at the beginning, we've got no problem in getting all the flesh out and all the meat, okay? So look at all that chicken. So from one chicken, I'm planning to get four really good bowls of soup out of this, just by doing that. Now that's just the legs, imagine. That's just the legs and the carcass, okay? Now I haven't even really kicked into my breast, really. So actually, you know, 
if you were clever, you get some snacks because those kids are snacking all the time. But what's really nice here is just how tender that chicken is. Okay. So that's enough for, for us for lunch today, I think. And that's really only half a bird, less than half a bird. And um, so we can keep all the, uh, the rest for um, hopefully making the chicken pie in the next few days. Straight off our stock. Remember, we separated it, so we kept some for tomorrow, which we'll use to make, uh, or the next day, our chicken pie. And we've got our chicken stock here. Now, I reduced it by third there a little bit. You can see how lovely and clear it is. I just want to taste it there for seasoning. Now, just need a little bit of salt there because I'm actually going to add um, some soy sauce at the end as well, which is a little bit salty. Right, now we're going to bring the broth together, okay? So I'm going to use some of these um, egg noodles, but if you don't have egg noodles, you could use glass noodles, you could use, you could use pasta, you could use uh, rice, anything really like that. I'm going to put those into the lovely stock, okay? And get them cooking. The noodles take about four to five minutes cooked, so they've been cooking for two minutes now. So I'm just going to add in my asparagus and my corn, which will take a little bit longer than the peas and the monge too. I'm going to add the ginger that we cut in there as well. And now we're going to add the rest of the veg. And this could be anything, you could have broccoli, you could have carrot, you could have whatever you want. But I'm going to get all those vibrant colours. Okay. I'm going to take that off. Chicken. You fancy a bit of chicken, don't you, Sky? Mm, yeah. Chilli. Soy sauce, is it? Ooh, that is good. It tastes so, so fresh. And then a good bit of coriander at the end as well. Oh, look at that. And I'm really sorry there's been no children cooking today. I think they're on strike. They've had enough. Uh, but I'm going to threaten them with maths and French homework if they, if they don't come back. So hopefully they'll be back soon. I hope you're having a good day. The sun is shining. I hope you're all staying home, being safe. Take care, see you soon.